the challenge with neural signals is that when there's a very clean one-to-one -one mapping, we're very good at communicating them. So I can send an impulse that can be mapped to your brain that might create a similar impulse to move your hand or your arm. Because emotions are so embedded in my overall experience of the world, one of the technological challenges is what that means to transmit it. Because it's not just I'm feeling happy and you're feeling happy, right? My version of happy may even look different. Mm -hmm. And the cause for that happiness and the attribution to the world around me and whether it's something I'm experiencing right now because I'm fed, comfortable, warm and content versus the kind of joy that I might feel getting a hug from a loved one. Mm -hmm. uh, and so the representation of those nuances as opposed to the core emotion, I think is one of the challenges with empathy. Not just, I feel happy, but I feel happy because mm. of this. And in making that association, because even if I transmit that to you, my, my question to these, the people who are working on this is how they feel about how then you integrate it with the rest of your brain structure that's still all there. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not just projecting, you're receiving it, but still interpreting it in that context. So if we have this sort of projection that was separate from you interpreting it and you felt what I felt, then that might represent the kind of empathy that could improve that connection. 